PC, the wax tear. And in this video, I will plead with you to please do not hate my guts. Because what I'm about to do is something I've done twice before in videos on my channel. And that's tell you guys about an epic thrift store haul that I got. First one was great. Second one was even better. But this one doesn't take the cake, but it's pretty damn good. And please do not hate my guts, okay? So I'm going to start off with the small potatoes. Um, I, I know I show vinyl, but first one was I was able to find a CD of Super Tramp, Crime of the Century, my favorite Super Tramp album. Um, Thrift store find in nice shape, two bucks. Okay, that's how we're starting. We're starting with a great album. It is a CD, but uh, we'll move on next to, um, these are new thrift stores, by the way. These are thrift stores I had never gone to before. I just found them. So the next one is uh, Ricky Lee Jones, Pirates. Uh, a lot of people have shown this album. Um, it's in very minty shape. Nice inner there. And on the Warner Brothers label there, you can see if I'm turning it the right way. There we go. Side two. Not so dirty. He cleaned it, but um, sounds good. Ricky Lee Jones. Okay. Small potatoes. We're moving on. We're moving on to the next. Okay. Don't want to damage the records. Okay, next we go to Cannonball Adderley. Um, the album's in great shape. It's a scent on Africa. It's, uh, you know, it's Afrobeat jazz, Cannonball Adderley, and the moving into it different than his traditional, you know, bebop. But, um, Good album. The cover's kind of crap, but the album is in very good shape. Sounds good. Small potatoes. Um, not a Cannonball Adderley's best, but for three bucks, can't go wrong. Okay. Now we're moving into, well, let's hold off on the good stuff. Yeah, let's still stay small potatoes. All right. First, uh, New Riders of the Purple Sage album. Cover, I mean, since it's all white. It's in pretty good shape, except that it's all white, and over the years, it's kind of a little kind of dirty. But the album, stellar shape on Columbia. Still has a price tag from one of its lives. It says $1.97. I got it for three bucks. All right. Good album. We're moving up. We're moving up to better things. All right. Let's see what we got next. Okay, now we're going to the going to the, the hall. This is one thrift store. I found a bunch of cool stuff. And I'm I'm I'll mix in um some crap in there. Not crap, but the lower end shit. Okay. Nick Lowe. Now I found a ton of um albums in the shrink. It's still in the shrink. You could see the or original price tag there. Um, and on the back is a hype sticker that was put on the back. There you go. So it's a pure pop for now people. Nick Lowe, there he is in many outfits. It's uh, got a perfect inner there of drawing of Nick. Um, and it's on the Columbia label in minty, nice, fresh condition. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So a lot, most of these albums are in the shrink. It's crazy how awesome these finds are. We're moving on up. So let's go to the next one and find that I got the best of uh, Lou Reed with the nice price. Nice price. Let me take it out. Still, the shrink is kind of coming off a little on the back, but still in the shrink. See how the shrink's coming off there on the back. Um, but, you know, nice. And it's, here, the album's in, again, minty condition. 
on the RCA. It's got um, Saddle I Love, Wild Child, I Love You. Uh, How Do You Think It Feels, New York Telephone Conversation, Walk on the Wild Side. On the other side, Sweet Jane, White Light, White Heat, Sally Can't Dance, Nowhere at All, and Coney Island Baby. So this is a 1980 best of. Um, I recently picked up the reissue, the Rhino reissue of Lou Reed, New York. Highly recommend it. All right, next one. Uh, this is separate uh, from uh, the Shrinked, all these golden, awesome albums in the Shrink, but I found a nice, nice copy of Mike Oldfield, Tubular Bells. I amazingly, other than the song being used in The Exorcist, never really listened to it. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. This is an OG on that. Look at that cool label there. Um, and the inner sleeve. I always love these inner sleeves when they come in in pristine shape where they show all the albums that came out around the same time. The, in fact, that it's Virgin Records' first album, first big hit for uh, and the first album. But look at that. Nice. Nice. So the back side of there. So that's that was a nice find. Okay. All right, heavy hitters are coming now. I'll mix in some other stuff in there. But a lot of talking heads in the shrink. Crazy. Remain in the light. Um, you could say one thing. Their covers are always awesome. Has the lyric sheet in mint condition. The inner sleeve in mint condition. And more importantly, on that Sire label minty 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 condition now this the the thrift store i found this out was like uh a, a private thrift store you know for profit so these albums were like eight bucks each but eight bucks each i think a lot of them are worth a lot lot more so all right uh intermixing them but a great title this is from another thrift store it is midnight oil Awesome album, Diesel and Dust. Look at that gatefold there. Um, pretty good condition on this. And the album is not in bad shape. I need to clean it, it's a little dusty. On the Columbia label there. Uh, beds are burning. Every uh, You know, this is an album everyone had when I was finding myself in the 80s but the, it comes it has the original inner sleeve look at that beautiful nice gorgeous all right <sighs> next robert cray the robert cray band there you go who's been talking if you don't know robert cray you need to know him great uh blues guitarist inner inner's nice there you go and let me pull out the album here on that beautiful Atlantic label. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And uh, he can wail on that guitar, Robert Cray, and can sing too, so. All right, this is one I did not know, and I think this was a private uh, a press of it. It's uh, the Paul DeLay Band. I, it, I, it was, not it was like four bucks i thought it would uh i looked it up people do like this album um criminal records i like how they have different color labels on each side um i haven't listened to it yet very interested i'll let you guys know how it is okay now we're going back to the shrink wrapped records graham parker and the rumor stick to me in the shrink with that, you know, uh, sound savers, sound savers. It doesn't, it doesn't have any inner. It's on that Mercury label. Let's turn it right side up in mint condition. Graham Parker. All right. More, some more talking heads. Here we go. Speaking in tongues. Awesome, awesome album. 
Burning Down the House. Come on, this was a huge, huge album when I was a teen age all. And again, beautiful inner in nice shape. And a minty, minty copy there with that beautiful sire label. Oh. All right, next. It's the American version of English Settlement, XTC, the single disc in the shrink. Beautiful in the shrink with that hype sticker. Look at that. Beautiful hype. Okay. And let's pull this out where it has the inner. There you go. They're the boys. And on that epic version, let me turn that Craig side up. There you go. And let's show you on the other side. In great condition. I would have loved it to have been the double album, but in mint condition for not a lot of money. Perfect. Okay, next one. Another Talking Heads. Here you go. Look at that. In the shrink. Still in the shrink. Crazy, huh? And there's the inner. More songs about buildings and food. And on the sire label. That sire label is very cool. Let's see. They're in mint condition. Mint, mint, mint. All right. Last one. And a great one. It is... X Los Angeles in the shrink. Look at that. Still got the price tag on there. There's the band, Los Angeles. Uh, X, the album Los Angeles. It has the inner here in great shape. And this album was produced by Ray Manzarek from The Doors. And uh, something unique about this one, the labels were mispressed on the opposite side. So side one's on side two, and side two's on side one. It's kind of weird. Um, great album. Great band. X. For, you know, Los Angeles is on here. Um... Something, something you should always listen to is X. They are a great band. Well, that's the haul from the thrift store. Pretty cool, huh? Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought about all these albums. Let me know which is your favorite. Um, it's crazy that I'm finding these albums. I don't know. I can't, you know. Uh, it's dumb luck. That's all I could say. Um, but if you like it again, thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe so you can see how we get all these albums. And until next time, The Waxed Out.